Hallo, hallo, hallo. Today is Tuesday, October 22nd, 2024. Here follow my solutions to problem 214. There are only three viewers with the correct answers to all three questions. It's difficult for me to pronounce their names, but you see them here in writing. As I mentioned, you could have used all information in my solutions, which was really a mini lecture of problem 213, which was my introduction to nuclear energy. This problem is again largely about nuclear energy. The uranium-235 atomic bomb thrown on Hiroshima contained 64 kilograms of uranium, of which 80% was enriched uranium-235. I mentioned that in this problem. I just repeat it here. And what I also mentioned, of course the explosion blew the bomb apart, including the uranium. Therefore, only about one kilogram of uranium-235 broke up in smaller nuclei, which generated the enormous heat of the explosion. First question of this problem. Calculate the equivalent amount of TNT in the Hiroshima explosion. And I give you what TNT is. I had to look that up myself. One ton, which is 1000 kilograms, TNT is a unit of measurement for explosive energy. The energy released by detonating one gram of TNT is about 4,000 joules. So this is a given that I also had to look up. Now comes something which is straightforward physics, which you may never have covered, and which is not part of my lectures at MIT. But it's very basic to nuclear energy. The number of grams in one mole is equal to its atomic mass. Thus one mole of iron 56 has a mass of 56 grams. One mole of uranium 235 has a mass of 235 grams. So one kilogram of uranium-235 is about four moles. Now comes another piece of physics. One mole of any substance contains 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd atoms. This is also known as Avogadro's number. As I mentioned in my solutions to problem 213, the fission energy that is released by one uranium-235 atom is about 200 MeV. Thus, the total amount of energy that was released by one kilogram of uranium-235 equals what you see there. And that comes out to be 4.8 times 10 to the 26 MeV. I convert that to joules. 7.8 times 10 to the 13 joules. One ton of TNT is about 4 times 10 to the 9 joules. Therefore, 
the conclusion is straightforward. The explosion of the atomic bomb on August 6, 1945 was about 19,000 tons of TNT. You can independently look that up online, which I did, of course. And online they mentioned that it was somewhere between five, between 15,000 and 20,000 tons of TNT. The largest non-nuclear bombs that existed in 1945 were the MOAB bombs, with a destructive power of about 10 tons of TNT. Thus the atomic bomb on Hiroshima was about 2,000 times more destructive. It is estimated that the number of people killed in Hiroshima ranged from 90,000 to 180,000 and of course the entire city was destroyed. Three days later, on August 9, a second atomic bomb, but that was one with plutonium and not with uranium, was thrown on Nagasaki and that ended the Pacific War. Japan surrounded on August 14. It is still believed by many historians that these bombs should not have been used as Japan would probably have surrendered by September 1945 anyhow. You may want to read up on this. Many people believe that Truman decided to throw these bombs largely for political reasons, which has to do with Russia. But that remains to be certain. That is still very uncertain. Now comes the answer to the second question, B. One kilogram coal, which is C12, is 80 moles, because one mole is 12 grams. And using Avogadro's number, that's about 4.8 times 10 to the 25 atoms. When burning one kilogram of coal, I had to look that up and I give you that, approximately 30 million joules of energy is released. which is about 6.3 times 10 to the minus 19 joules per atom, and that is about 3.9 EV per atom. What am I doing? Did I lose it? <laughs> okay. So question B was, how many times higher is the release of nuclear energy when only one uranium-235 nucleus breaks up in two smaller nuclei than when one carbon atom is burned to carbon dioxide? The fission energy released by one uranium-235 nucleus is about 200 MeV, Thus, the energy released by fission of one uranium-235 nucleus is about 50 million times higher than what is released by one atom of coal. 50 million times higher. That is the immense consequences of E equals MC squared. Burning coal is a chemical reaction. It's chemistry. The release per atom 
It's peanuts, but of course people use it to heat their homes. The last question is, suppose that delta M during fusion or fission is one kilogram. How much would the equivalent amount of TNT then be? And then compare that with the atomic bomb of Hiroshima. So here you see the equation that you also see in the solutions of problem 213. And therefore the conclusion is that the amount of energy in this case would be equivalent to about 20 million tons of TNT, which is about a thousand times higher than the atomic bomb on Hiroshima. If we round things off, as was done by one of the people, one of my viewers, with the correct solution, then you get very nice numbers. A would be 20,000 tons of TNT, B would be 50 million times higher, and C would be 20 million tons of TNT. My next problem will probably again be on nuclear physics. But I will then abandon it because it's clear that it is far beyond almost all of my viewers. Why did I do it? Because I want to teach you physics and I want to make you see into a development of physics that changed our world and that in a way has solved our energy problem. As of today, I believe 25% of all energy that the world is using is nuclear energy. You may want to watch this video again. Why? To learn some new physics.